Hey guys, Dancy2, back with more Let's Play Golden Sun. Uh, in the meantime, in between, I've actually changed Ivan's class because his class setup is kind of weird in that to get to the highest level ranger, he actually needs an extra gin, a gin that we will never get because it's not in the game. So, yeah, he's actually going to be sitting in Scholar, but this is actually a good thing for him because Scholar has access to Healing Psy Energy. It's kind of a weaker form of um, the White Mage. And it's a combination of Windseer, of his uh, default Windseer and Mia's default Water Seer classes. So it's pretty good. And I'm just going to keep it like that just to be safe. Uh, I've also given Luff to him. Is that a good thing? Yeah, I'm going to switch that on over here. I'm going to swap you with Zephyr, I guess. Because Mia's going to be in charge of Luff. In the boss, optional boss fight we're going to do, Mia's going to be in charge of Luffing, and Ivan is now going to be in charge of healing. So go, Ivan, go. But in order to get to the optional boss fight, we need to take, we need to actually forego another optional boss fight. Uh, by that I mean, are you back? I don't know if you ever come back, actually. I might be completely wrong about that. I know one of the guys comes back, but I don't know if he does. Man, these footprints are still here. I think they'd be gone by now. Be gone, Thee. I'm going to run away. Mind read. I might want to switch that to something else. This next area we're going to is very puzzle heavy. And as I've said before coming here, we are going to a completely optional dungeon. Or if I haven't said that, we're going to a completely optional dungeon. Into the tornado! Now, we don't actually want to use Douse this time, because it will take us to... Does this place look familiar? It should. We were here once before. We are back on Crossbone Isle. We have what we need to do everything here, and I need to switch Jin around again. I hate Grove Psy Energy officially. Actually, it shouldn't be that bad. I just do this, and yeah, I get access to it. Yay! I have figured out how to do things smart now. Go me. Then we need to climb up to go down. Grow, my pretty grow! I should be writing papers right now, but I just, I need time to unwind right now. I also want to let my medicine start kicking in, because otherwise I'm just going to go completely nuts, and I'm going to go completely nuts anyway. Anyway, at the door there will always be like a mini boss fight. We gotta fight this hobgoblin. Boost party resistance. This could actually be a slightly difficult fight, because I'm pretty underleveled, actually, for coming here. I don't like coming here technically until after the boss fight, to the final boss. But, I'm feeling a little bit ballsy today, so we're gonna go in headstrong and probably get our asses completely kicked. How you're supposed to do this fight when you first get here on Crossbone Isle, I have no godly idea. Yeah, like I said, you would just get destroyed if you got if uh, on the Toby Bound ship that if you came here and did this fight, which is why I didn't. Sonic Smash. And we get a lucky metal and it looks well. More lucky metals that I will never ever use. Uh, let's move you this way first. Let's go grab that treasure chest. One hundred and eleven coins. As I said, these rooms are all very puzzle oriented. That's going to be a pain to get to. You go this way, or not? I might actually have to reset the room. I don't like that. Yeah, let's go reset the room. And then head the other direction. Oh, come on, I wasn't an inch forward. Piece of shit. 
I will admit, Dark Dawn did do a couple things right, and it's increased the range of some of your Psy energy. It also made it a little bit more broken and... Excuse me, what's the heck? Okay, I'm back. Had to sneeze. I swore I sneezed in one of my last recordings, and I couldn't find it in the editing process. And now it's bothering me that it's still in there somewhere. Eh, if it's in there, oh well. I just hope my count isn't in there. This way. Most of the treasure in these areas are going to be money of some kind. But there is some other really good stuff. You come to me, because I think we can loop around back here. Indeed we can. Uh, can we? That would be awesome. Yes, we can. Can we do it? Yes, we can! First, we have to go around the outside, because I have missed something. I swear there are random encounters in this area, but I guess not. I guess it's only the doors. I'm thinking, uh, Dark Dawn. Or just random encounters in the secret area. And Golden Sun 2, actually, for that matter. But Golden Sun 2 is much less puzzle-oriented. It's much more of a classical dungeon. Forever than just, here's a four of puzzles. Then you get a boss fight. Then it, here's another four of puzzles. And it's just rinse and repeat. Then again, this isn't really a boss fight. Like I said, there are more mini-bosses than anything else, because they're pretty weak. in that chest. I will actually expedite this process a little bit. They'll come back for that chest, but we're going to be going this way. I believe each thing here... Oh, that's a medic. I think after every room we get some special equipment, I'm not entirely certain. I might be wrong about that. Sonic Smash! That is one of the most powerful moves in the game. His other sword that he can get for a random drop is powerful as well, mainly because it ignores defense, I believe. Or it does, it does something that it boosts its power. Uh, but Sonic Smash is actually the more powerful, in general, move. Hard not- wow, well worth it. Also, I think Sonic Smash has a chance of doing more damage than normal. Like, um, actually we haven't encountered anything like that. Well, we have, uh, kind of like Gust. As a chance of dealing double damage, I believe Sonic Smash works that way as well, but I'm not sure. I don't know that much about these Unleashes. I know a lot about uh, Lost Ages Unleashes. Boss fight. Oh god. There's the Plus Oak Healing, and you two just free Hail Prism. We don't have Freeze Prism yet. Freeze Prism is the most powerful version of that. It's one of the most powerful moves in the game. Die! Massive heal. Oh wow, I'm gonna slow as shit. But... Here's the thing about Golden Sun, speed really only matters in context to your party, for the most part. Uh, Dark Dawn mixed this up a little bit, but still, for the most part, speed really only matters within your party. Um, that being said, in Dark Dawn, speed is completely irrelevant after a certain point, but I'll get more into that then. But here's the thing, if you're not taking turns in front of your enemies, you're either really slow, like you've got them in Swordsman classes or Dragoon, or you're doing something horribly wrong, like you're horribly underleveled.
Wow, these guys are tough as shit. These guys are putting up a fight, I don't like this. And they're buffing. Alright, what do you got to roll with? Uh, let's head in the ninja class. You heal us up. And I think I should put this in here right now, and it kind of goes in line of what I'm doing with Ivan and Isaac, is being able to drop in and out of classes is something I value very highly. And it's why I actually like putting Ivan in the class that he is, because I can literally drop in between classes, in between Ranger and his uh, Scholar class, the same way with Isaac and dropping in and out of Ninja and Samurai, respectively. Uh, because Samurai is better for single targeting, and Ninja is much better for multi-targeting. Uh, that being said, and Ninja is Samurai is also really good at buffing because it's the only class that has access to all the different kinds of buffing. It can buff attack, defense, and uh, resistance, which is really fucking good. So yeah, being able to drop in and out of classes is very useful, and it's something I kind of emphasize my trial mentals on, which is why I... I also don't like to put people in more than one of the same trial mentals, so no, we're not going to be doing a four rowing strategy. I'm not that goddamn cheap. And yeah, that's really about it. Ooh, Mystery Blade, is this any good? I doubt it. Nope, that's designed for if you come here bef uh, on the Tolby Bound ship. So, it's completely worthless to me. Anyway, put that in there. Now we have a way back up in case we fall. And next mini boss. Typhoon. Explosion, Hail Prism, and Hail Prism. Oh sweet, the middle guy is weak to uh, wind. And they all resist uh, Mercury by the looks of it. And the ghouls are weak to fire. Which means it's time for Ivan to go back to Skull, or uh, Ranger I believe. Bacteria Rush, oh no. He's attacking us with bacteria. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, I'll have him switch back. Well, actually, no. For, I'll have him throw plasma at him and to attack the middle guy. Since Isaac has access to cluster bomb, I might as well keep people in their classes as much as possible. Keep Jin on them, sir. What? time we will continue on and keep going crossbone aisle see you guys then